talk. I'm coming home, I'm coming home, tell the world I'm coming home, let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday, I know my kingdom awaits and they've forgiven my mistakes. Hamburger. XQCL. That's just the last thing to them. Oi, oi, who donated what? A hundred dollars! Let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday. I know. Uh, something like that? I think it's 100. I never saw that. Dude, you don't have to do anything. Thanks for just being here, dude. I'll get you, bitch. Get on the ground. Turn around. Turn around! you! <laughs> Dude, look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> I'll get you, bitch! Get on the ground! Turn around! Turn around! <laughs> oh, okay. So what is this? A classic video Pepe laugh. This is actually so precise, dude. Grazie ai nostri cuscinetti. Shit. Love the streams, my man. Much love, PogChan. One entire year. Look at how the time has flown by. Pog. Book, 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 book. Book, 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 book. One of the robots, is, you know, sort of like coded to do, and it's, it's supposed to be precise like that, but it's still kind of crazy to look at. It's always, it's always impressive, Dude, especially the ones that, that make the cars. Wait, hold up. That's a cool video. Ah, it's gonna... Hold up. It's, it's kinda good. I've watched it, watch it off stream. That wasn't me, BTW was someone named NHF2. Hey, how's the burger? Shit's busting. Alright, alright. <laughs> <laughs> the jungle is not just a place, it's a seven. Hey, how's the burger? Shit's busting. Alright, alright. <laughs> she. <laughs> Why, dude? Don't. Jeez, okay. This one. This is Porsche's first all-electric vehicle, the Taycan. It's unmistakably Porsche. I thought it was gonna be interesting. Aluminum and steel, shaped into the downward sloping roof line and pronounced shoulders of the wings that are the manufacturer's signature. That was pretty cool though. But under the bodywork, there's a new element, an electric heart. For Porsche to strike a balance between electric efficiency and performance, they wielded unique manufacturing dude, techniques this man, and components. Yo, is that crazy like though? Battery. Dude, dude, how many robots in one? Dude, this is like fucking 60 robots, man. Is this kind of crazy? They wielded unique manufacturing techniques and components, like a battery case fully integrated into the structure of the car, and two electric machines, one on each axle to power the front and rear wheels, making the Taycan all wheel drive. This is how the Porsche Taycan is made. Isn't this the Porsche or not a Porsche? This is the body shop. Inside, machines perform an intricate dance choreographed by humans to mate the all-aluminum outer shell to the Taycan's body. The Taycan's body, as you see, crazy. mainly consists of steel and aluminum. Here, robots attach the side panel to the body, 
the panel is entirely one piece. A robot applies adhesive bonding to the inside of the side panel. Another maneuvers the side panel to the body, pressing the panel in place. Robots secure the panel in place with a variety of welding techniques. They, they also use the rivets to further secure the panel. The final welds are made before the Tycon moves down the line to be prepared for paint. Inspecting the Tycon bodywork takes a human touch. There's so much in it, dude. Staff buff the oh. outer shell while eyeing the car body for inconsistencies. So couldn't, couldn't a robot do this? The body is now ready for paint. The Tycon arrives upstairs at the process areas. Here, the dipping baths await. The Tycon plunges into a bath of water-based, electrically conductive paint. It receives exposure to an electrical field, causing the paint to deposit on the body. Further down the line, the Tycon will reach the body dryer, where Porsche subjects it to direct heating. Firing the paint forms a highly uniform, closed paint surface. This electromagnetic That's paint method paint, is called cathodic dip painting, or CDP, and it's highly resistant to corrosion. Before the Tycon moves on to the next step, robots buff the body. Next, the so Tycon cool. arrives at the paint booths. Here, robots evenly apply multiple coats of paint, giving the Tycon a finish that protects it, it, and beautifies. And there's something weird about it. I don't know what it is. I think like they almost move like real arms, like beautifies. real human arms. Multiple coats there's of paint There's something human about it that's kind of weird. The car moves downstairs to the manual workstations where employees carefully check the paint for imperfections. We'll see the painted Tycon sleeve, bodies yeah. again soon. But for now, on to component manufacturing. We've arrived at the plant Porsche uses to produce electric motors and components. A special feature of the Tycon's electric motors is the hairpin winding. In this process, the solenoid coils of the stator consist of rectangular wires instead of round ones. The manufacturing oh, yeah, of process of hairpin technology is complex, but simply put, it allows the wires to be packed more densely. This means that in the same like amount of space of the conventional stator, Porsche engineers were able Python. to squeeze out more power and torque. Other components are assembled here, including the gears uh, and axles. Wire. Together, these make the drive units of the Tycon. The components are sent to final assembly, where they will finally be put together. <laughs> Painted bodies, electric drives, and components find their way to the production space for final assembly. At this part of the manufacturing process, ergonomics is key. Hydraulic arms and lifts tilt, raise, and pivot the Tycon into place so employees can easily access their workspace. A hydraulic arm helps navigate a heavy dash into place at the front of the Tycon. That's actually crazy. Assembly uses a similar system to introduce seats to their new homes. The Tycon Turbo S and Tycon Turbo have two electric motors, one on the front axle and one on the rear axle, thus making the cars all-wheel drive. I think I jump like this is assembled. I always find it fun for like a week. A panoramic glass roof is moved into position. Porsche makes use of AGVs, or automated guided vehicles, to move the car to different sections of the floor. A floor transport system is used to move the battery to the other side of the body. The low position of the battery in the car ensures a very low center of gravity. The team attaches the housing to the body using a total of 28 bolts. So it's just kind of crazy to look at, man. The team applies Porsche's signature badge. Icon is complete. I enjoyed that. I thought that was good. Okay, uh, next. You know what they say, right? No, what do they say? You would not believe your eyes if 10 million fireflies 
Lit up the world as I fell asleep. And you're actually a good singer. Thank you, man.